Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we are doing the range efficiency and charging test in the Polestar 2 with the performance pack and the latest software update, the February software update, which should improve, well, range efficiency and charging speed, which is perfect for this test. So this being the performance pack, it actually has a 443 kilometer WLTP range versus the 470 of the normal Polestar 2. So that will be very interesting. That's probably because of the big 20 inch wheels and also the big Brembo brakes and also the Olin stampers and everything making this car, you know, just a bit heavier than the normal Polestar 2. And today's route is basically the same as my winter range efficiency and charging test. But since it is, well, six degrees Celsius outside and we will maybe hit 10 degrees plus today if we're lucky, well, it isn't a winter test anymore. But we're starting here at Circle K in Fudeset. We're going north to Budimendal, 130 kilometers, back to the starting point, 260 kilometers round trip, on motorway and then when we get back if we get back with any charge left we will calculate our theoretical range under today's conditions but we'll also connect to a charger to see what kind of speed we get you know just normal driving after a few hours on a motorway will we get high speeds or low speeds well we'll just have to check at the end of uh, the video when we get back here so we're just going to top up to 100 percent state of charge here and then we will be on our way Okay guys, we are now at Mjøsbrua and look at the windsock here. It looks like, do we have a very slight headwind? According to the wind map, we should have a headwind of about uh, 2 meters per second. But okay, we've been on the road for 37 minutes and our consumption is now 24.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Average speed 107 kilometers an hour. And you can see that the Mjösa does seem, it's not super calm, but I mean, it's not super busy either. But I, I think I'm hearing a little bit of, uh, you know, some extra wind noise, but yeah, it may just be me or some, you know, just uh, some wind blowing here and there, but okay. So uh, yeah, we are now at, uh, let's go ahead and close this, 78% uh, stated charge. And according to the car, we should arrive at the Mios Torna with 58% state of charge. So yeah, we're just going to soldier on and then uh, update you guys when we get a bit closer. There we have it, guys. The beautiful Mios Torna. And as I always say, the tallest wooden structure in the world is basically a wooden skyscraper built out of wood and glass. But now we are at our turnaround point, which is this, the Mjöss Torna, or the Mjöss Tower in English. And we now have 56% state of charge, which is what this predicts. But yeah, we are here. And our temperature is now, or outside temperature is three degrees Celsius, so a bit colder. We have hit two degrees plus, which is the coldest, but yeah, we are at an elevation of 134 meters here in Brumendal. And the highest elevation we've hit was uh, in uh, Hamad, 150 meters. And our consumption is now, let's see this guys, is 25.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We've been on the road for one hour and 12 minutes and an average speed of 110 kilometers an hour so we're going to turn around here now and hopefully because we're going downhill and also uh, that we should have a slight uh, tailwind the consumption should drop so yeah we're going to get back to oslo now we are now back here at Circle K in Fudeset. As you guys can see there, we arrived here with 16% state of charge, which is what the car was predicting. And then our consumption is now 24.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Also 110 kilometers an hour in average speed and 256.6 kilometers is the distance covered. But isn't that a bit under reporting because the actual distance should be like 260 kilometers, but okay. So we're going to connect to a charger now to see what kind of speed we do get. But here, none of these chargers do have a kilowatt readout. So we don't know the speed 
and as you know the Polestar 2 doesn't have a kilowatt readout either so we're going to have to go to Circle K in Sonvika on the other side of town and connect to a charger there. Okay guys we're now here at Circle K in Sonvika so we're going to connect the charger here and let's see if we get any decent speed so connect first let's do that okay and then it says wait and then it wants us to please pay okay accepted and then just for good measure we're going to keep some pressure here while it's communicating because these EVs usually fail with this type of uh, this Phoenix contact connector is a typical failure point. Um, so I can hear it vibrate, feel it vibrate. Okay, so we are now charging. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and see. So we are right here with 10% state of charge, as you guys can see. And let's see if we do get any decent speed. Hopefully this will climb. Slowly and steadily. Sixty five kilowatts, but okay, yeah. That's the max. That is the maximum. A bit disappointing. And come on, camera, why are you having issues with focusing today? Hmm. Okay, 65 kilowatts seems to be the maximum speed, so we're going to I'm going to sit in here, wait for a while, and then check in in a little bit. Okay, now it's climbing a bit, but yeah, not too much. We're going to check in in a little bit. Okay, guys, so at 19% state of charge, we seem to be picking up some more speed now, 92 kilowatts, which is which is better than the 65 we had previously, but look at there. It seems like it's climbing slightly, and that is a very good thing, 95 kilowatts. So quite disappointing while connecting to the charger at first, but yeah, look at this, guys. Now we seem to be climbing 97 kilowatts, 98, 99. But, you know, I would have expected higher speeds because when I think I did, we did this run uh, with the last Polestar 2 I had, I got higher speeds. So it is a bit disappointing and we do have much milder temperatures now than we had last time. But 105 kilowatts, 16. Okay, we do seem to be climbing at least. One oh nine, one eleven. Okay. One twelve, one thirteen, one fourteen. Okay, seems it seems like we're climbing now. One sixteen. Okay, so this is interesting. So this goes to show that it seems like they have done something with the battery management with the latest software update where it actually, I don't know if it's heating up the battery while charging like in the Audi e-tron. But look at this guys, look at this, 125. And then we're throttling, and then we're throttling. But still, we, we connected, we had 65 kilowatts and Okay, so we, but this is more that, you know, strange charge curve of the Polestar 2 where it peaks, throttles, peaks, throttles. But yeah, this goes to show that they are doing something with the BMS here. Not sure what, but okay, again, we seem to be climbing. Yeah, and then we throttle again. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Okay guys, so it's time to look at our actual consumption on our trip, which was 24.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We did a total of 256.5 kilometers. 
And if we take the 75 kilowatt hour net battery capacity and divide it by the consumption, we get a theoretical range of 312.5 kilometers. But we do have some heat loss, which I've calculated several times to be around 3% at motorway speeds. So we take that number, we multiply that by 0.97, we get a theoretical range of 303 kilometers during today's conditions, which were between six plus degrees and one plus degrees at the coldest and dry conditions. So, I mean, it's not too bad considering our average speed was 110 kilometers an hour. Again, not as good as the Model 3 for people who are going to comment uh, that down below, no. The Polestar 2 isn't as efficient as the Model 3 long range, but still, I mean, it's not bad considering the coldish temperatures and the high speed. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And also this being the performance pack, guys. Remember, this has the 20 inch wheels, 245 4020s on Nokia and Hakkabalita R3s. And this has only the 443 kilometer WLTP range. So if we were in a normal uh, Polestar 2, we would have gotten, you know, better consumption and a higher theoretical range so guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below so i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye